Today we'll talk about stimulation programs. A stimulation program is a powerful tool designed to streamline the monitoring process through its automation. The stimulation program allows programming the sequence of stimulator operation. To create new stimulation programs or make changes to those existing, open the test setup dialog and go to the programs tab. Here you can see the list of stimulation programs, if any. To add a new stimulation program, click Add button. In the opened dialog box you can enter the stimulation program name, specify hotkey to quick program start and activate the repeat after checkbox, which means that the program is repeated at a specified time interval. This option is helpful, for example, if it's required to enable transcranial stimulation every minute to obtain motor responses or regularly start some of the sensory work potentials acquisition. In the stimulators list, mark stimulators that will be used in the given program. The stimulators will run one by one. To change the order of stimulator activation, use up and down buttons. Sometimes a pause in operation of two stimulators is needed. To set the pause, click the stimulator before which the pause is required and press pause button. Specify the desired pause duration in seconds in the period text box. To delete the pause, click the red cross in the pause field. If selected stimulators are the channels of multi-channel stimulator, for example, some of the sensory work pot potential stimulation of patient extremities, start of such program makes selected stimulators work simultaneously with appropriate interval between stimuli. After stimulation program settings are adjusted, click OK and newly created program appears on the list. Now you can select this program by clicking the stimulation button on the toolbar and selecting the respective menu item of using or using the hotkey. The enabled program will be marked in, in the list. If pause is on, the special countdown timer will show the time left before the stimulation. You can stop stimulation program by clicking it's in the list or using a, a respective key combination. You can run several programs at once. If stimulation is enabled in one program and it is required to run stimulation in another program, the first study stimulation is paused and resumed after the stimulation of another second program is completed. Such as if you start the program for continuous recording of some of the sensory work potentials and a program for motor work potentials recording, some of the sensory work potential stimulation will be paused and resumed after transcranial stimulation is completed. Let's return to the program list. To change stimulation program settings, Click Change and adjust the desired parameters in the dialog box. To delete the program, select it and click Delete. Here you can also change the list of programs in the list using Up and Down button. When the necessary settings to the list of stimulation programs are made, click OK or Continue with other settings.